Hello everybody and welcome to this roundup of all the action that took place this weekend in the Cheshire Football League. Uh, in this video we're only going to be covering league games. Uh, there will be a cup news update in the next few days as we do have a few things to talk about in that one. Uh, so we'll start in the Premier Division where Whaley Bridge took on Denton Town. Uh, the result leaves the title race completely up for grabs as the Tameside Natives defeated the league leaders by two goals to one at Whittles Park to move themselves up two places to six. Line type Cheadle Heath Nomads won at home to bottom side Garswood United to increase the gap between themselves and the chasing pack, whilst also moving themselves to within touching distance of the top four. A solitary goal was all it took for the Stockport side to take all three points from this game. Green Oz, Padgate St Oswald beat Ruddy Social 2-1 in a mid-table clash in Warrington. The team in green were impressive in what was their first league win of 2017. Eagle Sports continue their fine vein of form with a 2-0 victory in Great Sankey, keeping them ahead of Green Oz, Padgate St Oswald by just a point. In League One, Warrington Town Reserves extend their lead at the top of the table to three points following their 2-1 victory over the side in second place Pilkington. Goals from Dylan Glass and Jack Richards gave the league leaders uh, all three points, the latter of which is being lauded by town supporters as one of the best goals in both the first team and the reserves all season. Edgerton were impressive in their 6-2 thrashing of Lostock Graylam at the Park Stadium. The result moves visitors into the mid-table dogfight. They're at the bottom of a group of about six teams, uh, all in the 20 to 20 to 30 point mark. Uh, they will be hoping to continue their strong form in the coming weeks to move themselves up the table ahead of those sides previously mentioned. Cheadle Town Reserves lost once again this weekend, this time away at Mersey Valley. It finished 3-1 to the side in Ashton on Mersey. A brace from Dwayne Greenwood and a goal from Tyler Ferguson gave the Sale locals the 3-1 victory. This result moves Valley into the top four, overtaking AFC Macclesfield. Speaking of AFC Macclesfield, they drew 2 all this weekend with Goldmon Sports at Stonecross Lane. With FC St. Helens not playing in the league, uh, and we'll mention that more in the Cup News article in the Cup News article and video that will come in the next few days. Max league position isn't too badly affected, uh, as only one team could have foreseeably overtaken them. Uh, they just dropped just one place to fifth, uh, being displaced by Mersey Valley. The final game in League One saw Dayton take on Grappin Hall Sports in a game that finished in a goalless draw. The visitors move within a point of overtaking Cheadle Town Reserves and could put the Stockport side bottom of the table by the end of next weekend, as Cheadle have a cup game, which Rob will uh, bring you up to date with in the weekend preview which will be here on Friday, for those of you wondering. There was just one game in League 2 this weekend, as Diva Crystalton hosted Win Stanley Warriors. A 3-2 victory for the home side moves them to a point to within a point of league leaders Windle Labour. However, both sides could be caught out by Broadheath Central below them, although Broadheath do play next weekend uh, in the J.A. Walton Cup, so they won't have a chance to do that next weekend but have a number of games in hand. In Reserve League One, Eagle Sports extend their lead at the top to two points following their one all draw with Nutsford. A Dominic Baker goal for Nutsford was cancelled out by Eagles George Toon uh, to see both sides share the spoils after 90 minutes. In Reserves League Two, Goldwyn Sports put on a strong performance in their 3-1 victory away at Pilkington at the home side's ground Ruskin Drive. A brace from Gary Shannon and a Michael Coppel goal gave Sports the win, extending their gap over Malpass to 12 points. Malpass reserves remain stuck to the bottom of the football of the Cheshire Football League pyramid, uh, having gained just one point this season, and will be hoping for an upturn of form in the coming weeks. That's all from the league roundup from this weekend. Uh, we will have another video uh, giving you all the details of the external cup games that took place as well as the Reserve Divisions Cup and the President's Cup and the J.A. Walton Challenge Trophy. So we will be updating you during the week to let you know about that. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media and we will make sure that you are kept up to date and just to update you about CFL Score Centre as well, uh, in the past few weeks CFL Score Centre has been a prominent part of our coverage of all the games uh, from our 
teams and whatnot. Uh, this weekend, this upcoming weekend, it's going to be slightly limited. Uh, I'm letting you know in advance just so that you aren't disappointed when you see that there are less updates than usual. Uh, I found myself busy, so the CFL Score Centre will still run and it will still be quite active, but it won't be as active as it was, let's say, this past weekend where we were updating every two or three minutes. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Be sure to give us your updates on Saturday for your CFL Score Centre, where we will post them out to all of our Twitter followers, and we are going to try and get it on Instagram too, so that those of you who follow us on there will be able to follow CFL Score Centre on there. Thank you very much for watching. I've been James, your press officer. Be sure to tune into all of our videos this week. There will be a few. And the weekend preview for next weekend will be up on Friday, where Rob will take you through all of the action to take place next weekend. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good week.